So today we are going to look at a few different types of matrices, which is the first one is a Hermitian matrix. So Hermitian matrix is something that you will encounter a lot in quantum mechanics. And one of the properties of the Hermitian matrix is that it gives real eigenvalues. Okay. So how can you check whether a matrix is Hermitian or not? So a matrix H is Hermitian if H dagger is H. Now what is H dagger? Right? So H dagger is H dagger is basically the complex uh, so let's let me rewrite it. So H dagger is nothing but the transpose of the complex conjugate. Okay, so the transpose of the complex conjugate is a Hermitian matrix. Uh, so if the transpose of the complex conjugate H dagger is equal to the original matrix, then we call that matrix as the Hermitian matrix. So this is the condition. Okay. Now let's look at an example. I think the best way to understand is through an example. So let's see. All right. So let's have H is equal to 2i minus i and 2. So in quantum mechanics what happens is many times you will encounter matrices or operators which are um, which will have complex numbers in them because there will be momentum operator or it can be a Hamiltonian or something. So all of these operators can have the uh, complex numbers in them but if it is a Hermitian matrix then the uh, eigenvalue the observable that comes out of it is going to be real. So it is not going to be a complex number which you can't visualize. The observable is going to be real which you can measure. Okay. So that is one of the beautiful properties of Hermitian matrices. So let's see. So H is this. So what is H dagger? Right. So first of all we have to find. So H dagger is nothing but H complex conjugate and the transpose of that. Okay, so this is what H dagger is. So transpose of complex conjugate. All right. So we have H transpose. So H uh, complex conjugate would be wherever you have complex numbers, you have to take its conjugate, complex conjugate. So it will be two minus I, I and two. All right. So now H, uh, the transpose of this complex conjugate, which is H dagger, is going to be just take the transpose. So this will be 2 minus I, I, 2. And you can see that this is equal to H, the original one. Alright, so this is a Hermitian matrix. Now let's try to find its eigenvalues. So what are the eigenvalues? So in order to find the eigenvalues, we have to do H minus lambda I to be 0, right? So we can have 2 minus lambda and what is H? I. So we have I minus I and 2 minus lambda. The determinant of this is 0. So we are going to get 4 plus lambda square minus 4 lambda minus of minus i into i right <coughs> so we are going to get lambda square is 0 ok is yeah, 0 so we are going to have lambda square minus 4 lambda so minus and minus will be plus and uh, i square is minus 1 so minus 1 so plus 3 right this is going to be 0 so we have lambda is 1 or lambda is 3 
okay so these are your lambda values okay now once we have lambda we need to calculate the eigen vectors so for lambda equals 1 we would have 2 minus 1 i minus i 2 minus 1 x y is 0 or 0 0 we have x plus i y is 0 and then we have minus i x plus y is 0 okay so if we take i common here we'll get the same thing right if we take i outside we'll just simply get minus i x plus y is zero right so ultimately we are going to get the same equation all right so, so in this equation so in x plus i y equal zero what do we have we have if x is one then we have y is equal to minus 1 by i okay this is what we are going to get all right so if y is minus 1 by i then we have so we don't want to keep i in the denominator so we will uh, we'll do a comp multiply both numerator and denominator by i so we'll get minus i by i square so we'll get minus i by minus 1 so we'll get i all right so the eigen vector is for lambda equals 1 is 1 comma i okay all right now let's look at eigen vector for lambda equals 3 so we have 2 minus 3 i minus i 2 minus 3 into x y is 0 0 all right so we are going to have 2 minus 3 so minus x plus i y is 0 and minus i x minus i y is 0 so from this equation we can get uh, y is equal to x by i Alright. Okay. So if x is one, then y is one by i, which is i by i square, which is i by minus one. So this is minus i. Alright. So eigen vector for lambda equals three is one and minus i. All right. Now there was one more, uh, uh, but we need to also get unit eigen vectors, right? So what are the unit eigen vectors? Because if we don't get unit eigen vectors, we will have um, a problem later on when we try to diagonalize it. So unit eigen vector is. Uh, so what were the eigen vectors? Let's look at the eigen vectors. So for lambda equals one, it was one i, and for lambda equals three, it was one minus i. For lambda equals one, one i, two, one by one square plus i into minus i. Okay. So basically, when you are calculating the unit vector, or uh, you are calculating the norm for a complex vector, then what you should do is you should basically do so the so the eigen vector here is. So for this case, when you have do the norm, you will do one into one. Sorry. Yeah. 
into 1 square plus i into minus i is what you are going to do. So when you do i into minus i you are going to get a positive number. Alright. Uh, that's not the criteria but what you have to do is you have to take the complex conjugate is what. So this is your norm. So this is your norm of I, uh, 1 comma i okay so this is nothing but root 2 okay so this is your 1 by root 2 1 comma i all right for lambda equals to 3 similarly you will have 1 by 1 square plus i into minus i So what are the eigenvectors? 1 comma minus i. 1 minus i. So this will be 1 by root 2, 1 minus i. Alright. Okay. Now. So now let's look at matrix C. Okay. So C is going to be. 1 by root 2, 1 i, 1 minus i. Okay. So C inverse is going to be 1 by uh, determinant of C into 1 by root 2. So first you have to take the, uh, right, you have to take the conjugate. Okay. So what is the uh, Yeah, get the cofactors. So, what are the cofactors? It will be for this, it will be minus i. Over here, it will be minus i. Then here, you will have minus 1. And then have 1 and transpose of that right this will be 1 by root 2 did c 2 minus i minus i minus 1 1 okay now let's calculate the determinant of c determinant of c will be 1 by root 2 whole square into determinant of one i one minus i. So this is going to be one by two into minus i. is minus i by 2 sorry which is equal to minus i All right. so c inverse is equal to to root 2 minus i minus 1 minus i 1 all right so this is your determinant okay. now you have to do c inverse h c should give you the diagonal matrix. So let's see. Y minus I root 2. I root 2. Okay. And to C inverse. So 
minus i minus 1 minus i 1 into h so 2i minus i 2 into c to c 1i 1, 1 minus i So we can multiply this one and this one. So we'll have 1 pi minus 2i. Okay, then we have, let's multiply these two. So we'll get minus 2i plus i then Minus 2, then we have minus 2i minus i, and we have 1 plus 2. Okay, so we have 1 by minus 2i, this is minus i minus 1. Mm, minus 3i and 3 so this is minus i plus i minus i and minus i here you have minus i and plus i and then you have minus 3i plus 3i and you have minus 3i minus 3i okay so this is nothing but minus 1 by 2i into minus 2i 0 0 minus 6i so you can divide by 2i overall and minus 1 so you are going to get 1 0 0 3 and this is the diagonal matrix made up of eigenvalues. Okay. The first question is given h is minus 2, 3 plus 4i, 3 minus 4i minus 2. Verify that h is Hermitian. Find its eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Write a unitary matrix U which diagonalizes h and show that u minus that u inverse h u is the diagonal matrix of eigenvalues a matrix u is called unitary if u dagger is equal to u inverse so verify that your matrix u is unitary okay so these are the things now the second question is is show that if d is the diagonal matrix then d power n is the diagonal matrix with elements equal to the nth power of the elements of d so basically you have to show that if D is a diagonal matrix, so you can assume let's say D is a 2 cross 2 diagonal matrix. So you have in the diagonal you have elements let's say A and B and the off diagonal elements are 0. Then D power N is nothing but uh, in the diagonal you have elements A power N, B power N and the off diagonal elements are 0. So this is what you have to prove. And then you also have to show that if D is equal to c inverse m into c then d power n is equal to c inverse into m power n into c so that m power n is equal to c times d power n times c power times c inverse okay all right so the third question is that you have to show that the n row determinant given below uh, like this is equal to cos n theta 